YouTube, what's happening with you guys? You guys see what's going down today? And we're not really in a talkative mood, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Let's go. All right, guys, we got the car up. And I just went ahead and threw some extra wheel chocks on there. So we have some on both sides. And I did the same thing over here. And then I also just left the floor jack there just for some extra support. You guys can never be too safe. Let's get that out of the way. And then we're gonna be using 530 oil the mobile one filter and then all you guys should need is a wrench a ratchet if you guys have a ratchet and then an oil filter tool to get that thing off <clears throat> now the first thing you guys if you guys remember from my last video we're gonna take this under tray out there's a few bolts that you guys have to undo so I'm gonna pop that off and then we'll take it from there All right, you guys, we got the under tray out. You guys should have uh, about 16 of, 16 of these bolts. And then you guys are gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to get those out. And then once you guys have the tray out, what you guys can do is you can open up the oil cap right here and take out the dipstick too. That way when you guys drain out your oil, there's just better uh, airflow. Everything will drain quicker. And then, once you guys have that done, we'll remove this drain plug. But you guys be careful when you take it out because it's gonna start spilling out. I'm gonna let that drain out and then once most of it's come out I'm gonna, I'll take out the uh, filter right there All right, as you guys see the oil is pretty much done and now what I'm gonna do is remove the filter but same thing when you guys remove this just be careful of uh, some oil spill because this will let some oil out too And there's no reason you guys can't do this, man. Just get out there and start working. Save you guys some money. Hey, right, now while you guys are waiting for this to drain out, I recommend to you guys just go underneath and just start cleaning everything up while you guys are waiting so you're not wasting time. That way you guys can also just get ahead of the game, get some extra credit in, you know what I mean? So what I did, if you guys can't tell, I took off the mud flaps and just cleaned up everything, just wiped it down with the microfiber. 
Like I said, that'll get you ahead of the game, just doing little things like that each and every time. So now we're gonna start fitting in this new oil filter. And what you guys can do is get some new oil on your finger and then just start rubbing it around the O-ring. Then you guys should be good to go. So now we'll screw this on and when you guys put the new oil filter on, you guys just wanna do it until it's snug and then once it's snug, just another quarter turn. All right, so it's snug right now, another quarter turn. Because everything down here gets pretty hot, so it'll start seizing up and it'll be hard for you guys to take off next time. Just keep that in mind. Same thing with the oil drain cap right there. Another thing you guys could do too is if you guys really want to get it cleaned out, you guys can pour down some new oil and then at the same time you guys can just start vacuuming everything out from here with the shop vac you guys think i'm playing too but i'm serious you guys can do that just to clean it out and then as far as the drain plug you guys can replace the washer on the on the end of there if it's in bad condition but since this one's all right i'm gonna reuse the same one and we'll just cover this up real quick Like I said, you guys don't have to tighten it all the way. We'll tighten it up, but you don't have to make it super tight. There we go. Now we'll start pouring in the new oil. The OEM oil you guys should be using is 020, but I'm gonna be using 530 and then once the colder weather comes around, I'll probably drop it back down to 020. But let me pour this in here. One more thing you guys wanna to do too before you guys put the under tray back on is just make sure it's not leaking anywhere. And then once you guys are good on that, just make sure you guys dispose of your oil the right way. You guys can throw the old filter back in the new filter box. And then same thing with the oil. I'm gonna dump that back into the can and then you guys can take it to a auto parts shop and they'll take it from you. And then now we're gonna lower the car down and we'll double check the level. But yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so now that we got the car level, I'm going to go ahead and check. <clears throat> Just give it some time you guys to settle down in the bottom of the oil pan. Yeah. That shit's almost on the money. I'll let it sit a little longer. And then we'll check it again later. But you guys got to realize how important it is to top off your oil. Same thing with your coolant. I don't know if you guys know, but I was riding around in the G35 before this. And bro, I'm telling you guys right now, learn from my mistakes because I would never even check my oil. Same with the coolant. And I was having issues all over the place. Replacing catalytic converters. Fucking having coolant hoses blow up on me all types of shit so you guys learn from me but now i'm gonna go inside and then we'll uh we'll reset the dash in here <clears throat> i also just let the oil run i let the car run and had the oil mix up a little bit but uh let's get this restarted how you guys like this interior man this shit's hard huh but as you guys saw last time you guys could hold these two buttons down right here 
and it should reset there you go so it's right about 10,000 miles and you guys should be changing your stuff every every three to five thousand miles don't wait 10,000 like the dealership says and now another thing you guys can do is reset it in here too so you guys can go to app garage maintenance note and then you guys can reset uh, your engine oil and then your oil filter mileage so you click on engine oil you guys can reset it right here and then it'll reset the miles left and you guys can change the mileage too if you guys want to set it to a certain distance but we'll keep it there and reset that Same thing with the filter. Date is right, everything's good. Reset it. And you guys should be good from there, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm out.